to be able to play all the notes on your viola, we just, we need to learn four basic finger patterns. So what we learned in book one was our first finger pattern of the red finger pattern. That was, looks like this on our instrument where we have open first finger and then a big space and then two and three close together, two, three, and then a big space again for fourth finger. Now our blue finger pattern, if one, three, and four are staying in exactly the same place, but second finger is moving over to be close to first finger. I know when I do that, my fingers move a little bit, but on your instrument, the notes are in the exact same place. So all we're doing is moving second finger back to be closer by the first finger. Okay, so uh, this is on the D string. There's the D string red finger pattern with the F sharp. All we're going to do, and then there's G next to it. Oh, that's on the G string, excuse me. We've got G, A, B natural, and C. So all we're gonna do is move our second finger back. But your third finger has to stay up where it goes. Red and blue, first and third finger don't move. Nothing changes with your first finger, your hand doesn't go under, keep it up, up there so your fingers still go down on the tip, so nice and straight. Just second finger moves back and forth. Okay, so we're going to go through these. We're going to start on our A string. Okay. Oh, actually, let's start on our C string. Okay, we're going to start on C string. So there's in red, we have C, D, E natural, and F. Now to go to our blue finger pattern, we're moving that second finger backwards to play this note. That second finger is E natural. We have to put a accidental on it to change the name so we know that it's down here in blue, that it's a low second finger, and we add a flat. You can see the flat accidental symbol at the top of page four. It kind of looks like a pointy lowercase b. So it's gonna go b back, okay? So there's E flat. Okay, over to the G string. We're gonna do it in blue, or I mean red. Now we have to make this B flat. B flat. Okay, please again notice the third finger has to stay up there. Okay, and now on the D string, F sharp. It's our red pattern. Now we're moving our second finger backwards to meet the first finger to be F natural. Because this is F sharp, sharps raise, it takes a natural note changes its name and moves it up. So we're gonna go back to F natural. The natural symbol is also at the top of page four. Cancels out a sharp. D, E, F natural, G. Okay, F natural. Okay, and on the A string. C sharp, D. Okay, so there's our C sharp, second red second finger. It's gonna be moving backwards to C natural. Still on the tip. Okay, so there's our C natural. And those are the notes of the blue.